Yo, what's up guys, Nesquik here. Welcome back to my dad's channel. I haven't posted anything here since last year, but I have a question for you guys. Have you ever had that sudden urge of just dancing in front of your terminally ill family member at the hospital? Yeah, me neither. This is one of those trends where you just roll your eyes and shrug out. What has humanity come to? This trend has spread like wildfire, just like COVID. And this woman is the ground zero to this shit. And all for that clout. All for those juicy five seconds of fame and that attention that was never given by their parents. Today, I'm going to be reacting to some of those obnoxious videos. So without further ado, let's start watching starting with this one. Hmm, kissing your mother because of that guilt you felt. Honestly, I gotta love how the brother is so unbothered by her dancing as if she has done this a shit million of times until she bumps him. I don't know, how can anyone think of this? How can this even cross people's minds? Like this girl, instead of spending the last hours or minutes with her mom, she instead dances and twerks in front of her family. I'm sorry mom, I know you're dying, I know you're dying, but I really need to do a TikTok video. I'm just desperate for those views. I need those, I need a clown. Shut the fuck up. Also, spoiler alert, this girl's mother died. I would have died too if my daughter were to be doing that. The minute I see her do that, I'ma ask. Unplug me, please. Uh, unplug me. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe, but she, uh, she probably unplugged her mom to charge her phone. I don't know. This girl actually did an apology video based on the comments because I don't understand what the fuck she's saying. But on the other hand, she didn't delete the video. She only turned off her comments just so she can keep on getting views and milk the fuck out of that video. Moving on from her, we got another one just like DJ Khaled says. Another one. I honestly don't know what the fuck went over this woman's mind. It's as if this woman wants everyone to feel bad for her. Oh my god, please feel bad for me, please feel bad for me. No. I don't feel bad for her, am I the only one here? And the song makes it 10 times worse. Trying to put sad music to sadden up the mood. That didn't work. I can't believe how desperate this woman wants clout to the point she uses her dead son for clout. Like why you gotta relive the trauma? People like her are, are another breed of white people. And she didn't even dance, she just moved her head around. I swear, if I were to die, the last thing to cross over my mom's head would be dancing in front of a camera and posting on social media. Honestly, that wouldn't even cross her mind. But the audacity of this woman to be dancing while talking about her son's death just truly amazes me. Not gonna lie, but this gives me Oompa Loompa vibes. Whenever a kid would die or something bad would happen to them, even if a kid got railed by a hundred squirrels, motherfuckers were dancing to any death. I swear, these people aren't even humans, bro. They're fucking Oompa Loompas. All right, next up, we got the woman who started all, AKA the ground zero to this trend. I can't imagine what's going on through that baby's head. If this were to be my mother, I would have given her to an adoption center. Or maybe break through that incubator, crawl my ass out of the hospital, and get myself adopted. I don't know, either of those two would be good options. Just the fact this mother remorselessly just Fortnite dances in front of her terminally ill son, it's... Uh... I don't know how to describe that shit. Alright, I've seen enough. I'm gonna pass the ball to my boy, say gets laid. Take it away, buddy. Yo, how's it going everybody? What's up? It's your boy, Zade Gets Laid, back at it again with a brand new video. Today, I'm also joined with Nesquik. We're doing a collab today. We, we gotta talk about something. Something very important is going on, and it has to do with TikTok. So, these TikTokers have been posting dance videos with them dancing in front of their dying relatives on TikTok. I guess they think they're bringing some sort of, like, awareness or something. I don't even know. It's, it's so dumb. Like, they just look so dumb. Imagine you're sitting there on your deathbed about to die you have cancer you have the most intense cancer you are about to die and your little niece and or nephew goes up sets up the camera and does a dance in front of you while you're dying if my family did that man i don't even know what i'd do like i swear to god imagine imagine sitting there in the hospital bed and and he takes out his phone and does the take the l from fortnite oh my god so yeah these tick doctors need to be stopped like asap like this should stop being a trend i don't even know who started this trend but they need to be stopped so without further ado let's uh uh, let's watch some of these TikToks. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, grab your cleaning product, and let's just jump right into these videos. I wanna be 
<laughs> like what? Thought it was gonna be all grandparents, but how are you gonna do that to your own kid? Come on. That TikTok is so messed up. How is a mom are you gonna post that? Her kid will probably see that one day. This video is wrong. Like you can literally see the baby trying to gasp for air. Like this video is messed up. Why would you as a mom post this? I don't even know. The video did kind of blow up and a lot of people were hating on the mom. So honestly, I'm glad for the kid. At least there were some repercussions, but still messed up. The next video is another really weird video. I don't know. I'll just play. You can literally see other family members around like how disrespectful are you come on this woman's grandpa is literally fighting for his life in the hospital and she's out here making tiktoks of it dancing to it this man's probably stuck in the gulag fighting for his life she's sitting there dancing like how disrespectful go be with someone who might leave you go be with your dying grandfather you know like go spend time with him get to know his life story stop making tiktoks about it kids nowadays in gen z are just something else like, I, I don't even know what to say. Why Why can't you just appreciate someone's presence? You're not going to appreciate his presence once he's gone. Why are you making TikToks? She's definitely going to look back and regret that TikTok. Like, why didn't I just spend more time with him when I could instead of dancing to a song in front of him? Watching these dancing TikToks honestly makes me wish I was in a hospital bed. I'm not even kidding. But I got one last clip for you guys just to, just to ruin your day. You know what I mean? I love making you guys cringe and regret watching my videos. So... I have one last clip where we're gonna watch. Yo, what? No! The fact that she has to go check on him because he doesn't look well is so bad. Mid TikTok? Like, what are you doing? Stop filming the TikTok! Kids are really gonna regret the time they didn't have with their grandparents, especially looking back on these dancing videos. Like, it's so bad. I'm sure her grandfather is very proud and impressed right now by her dancing skills. Like, yo, you thought the other guy was fighting in the gulag? He's probably fighting this guy, and this guy is losing. This trend needs to be stopped, and whoever makes videos like this, they need to be stopped. It's so insensitive, like, do not have respect for the person. Like, you really need to film them while they're on their deathbed dying and dance to it. These kids are just too cringe nowadays. I, I don't even know. But thank you, Nesquik, for having me uh, in the video. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe to both of our channels. Click that like button and leave a comment as well. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. You're welcome, dude. And like he said, subscribe to both of our channels. If you don't do so, all your family members are gonna dance in your grave and post it on TikTok. So just do it, like Nike. But other than that, there's one thing in common with all those people we reacted to, and that is, they're all pathetic. This just shows us where we're at as a society at this point. We're literally using our dead family members for clout. So whenever you feel pathetic, think about the TikTok videos me and Zegit's lady reacted to. I 100% guarantee you that you're not as pathetic as they are. And I think it's gonna get to the point where motherfuckers are gonna dig up their family member's grave, drive them home, sit them on the couch, and post a selfie of them with the fucking decomposed smelly ass corpse. And as the caption, they put in, family reunion, I haven't seen my grandma in years. And then in parentheses, or in all caps, they just put in, she's dead, and in the thumbnail, has a lot of scared hands on face emoji with all them arrows pointing at the core no 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 that sounds like a youtube video but i'm calling it i'm calling it it's sad how people are so down desperate for clout to the point they do anything for it it's sad and pathetic and i bet you ten dollars that if you time travel to 2010 and you tell that people are gonna start to dance in front of their terminally ill family members they would laugh at your face not believing what you said and just straight up walk away nobody would imagine in 2010 that in 10 years people are gonna start doing this these people have no sense of moral values no respect it's all gone just imagine how things are gonna be in the future. Yeah, I don't wanna think about or talk about that right now. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go to my great, 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 great grandparents grave to dig them up for a good old TikTok video because yeah, I need the likes and views. All right, peace. Yo, what the fuck?